Health. Mr. Speaker, our agri-retail sector is responsible for $10 billion in trade of crop inputs like fertilizer and agrichemicals. These materials could also be used to produce explosives and methamphetamine by criminal elements. The U.S. government has implemented a security tax credit for security upgrades at agri-retail sites in the U.S. Well, this government leaves our industry less competitive and Canadian sites unprotected from theft. Mr. Speaker, when will this government step up for Canadian agri-retailers and take action to keep Canadians safe? The Honourable Prime Minister, the Minister of Agriculture. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I'm aware uh, of this uh, concern, as is the Minister of Agriculture. I met with the agri-retailers yesterday. They have stated their case uh, to myself, and I know that they're also working with uh, public safety. We're having a look at this matter, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Guelph. Surely this government wants to protect Canadians by preventing these dangerous materials from falling into the wrong hands. Industry has been asking for years for this government to join them and share the cost presented by this very real security issue, yet they can't get a meeting with the Minister. Literally, tons of explosive chemicals, poisonous gases, and meth-producing chemicals sit unprotected without so much as a fence to prevent criminal elements from seizing them. When will this government stop paying lip service to public safety and take action to protect Canadians? The Honourable Prime Minister Secretary. Mr. Speaker, uh, safety is very much a concern of this government. Canadians have seen, that the, uh, seen the actions that we have taken to defend their safety. Uh, he should check his facts. In fact, uh, certain segments have met, uh, certainly with myself, as I mentioned, and they're working with the departments um, in this regard. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Burnaby New 